He was kind of like, go to church, pursue Christ, read the Bible. I don't know if I'll be able to connect, connect with anybody. So I started questioning my faith and questioning like if what my parents believed is what I believed. I wasn't sure like if it was going to be all that I thought it was going to be. Knowing the story as it is, that it's not left here in this place get to trust that God's gonna like work this out in us and help us remember the things that we need to remember. And so I think just knowing like, okay, like I've had the opportunity to listen to these great speakers and talk with other people that are excited to learn about this stuff, but then trust in that like God's gonna work it out in me um, and like what that looks like in practical application. I'm not coming here just to learn. I'm coming here to learn and take. I'm just going to take these, all these things that I'm learning and try to absorb it all and take it home and actually apply it. We all had birthdays in July really close to each other, which all had that thing in common, and that's what started us off together. Community has been definitely one of those things like I didn't exactly know what to expect. Just knowing that there's like sisters in Christ my age or some that are a little like older than I am um, has just been so encouraging. You know? The small groups are amazing. One of the big ones I actually loved is how respectful everybody is to one another. So I'm excited about going home and just like talking to my parents and talking to my friend group just about like everything I heard that we would ask the question, what is good and what am I for, as the primary impetus to, to then begin moving into a healing what is broken. It just come. It, there is nothing here that will disappoint. Right before I came here, I felt like the God, God was really working in me to pursue Him a lot more. And I think even the first two days, I was like, I think this is the place where I want to be and uh, I'm coming back here to be a staff. And I pray that I would just continue to like have that vision and be able to see clearly as well. One of my biggest morals is just to love people. Like, that's, that's pretty much what I live off of, just doing everything in love because that's what Jesus wants you to do. He wants you to love 